Hello, in this demo, we will see what is a namespace. Namespace is nothing but it is a logical collection of classes or you can say aggregation or collection or segregation of classes. A namespace can have n number of classes as well as sub namespaces. A namespace is nothing but it is a collection of classes and namespace. Now, why do I need namespace? I need namespaces to avoid naming conflicts. Now, for example, there is a team A who is working in India and they thought that the name of the class which is suitable for their requirement is student and they created a class called as student. Say class student and in that they have implemented a method say public void display. I am not going to implement any kind of functionality in, in this just to demonstrate the use of namespaces fine and a team B which is working in US they thought that the name of the class for the requirement of the same project maybe which suits well is again same student due to lack of communication or due to gap of communication or as per the requirement the student name for the class suits well even they created a class called as student with the name of the method inside or the functionality inside that they have implemented is show. Both of the team they brought their DLLs or their codes and they tried to integrate and what happens now is if I am trying to create the object of the class student and if I try to run this it throws an exception. What is that? The namespace already contain a definition of class student. That means I cannot have two classes with same name. Now what is the solution for this? The solution for this is I can have this class in namespace called as team A. I will say namespace team A. So I have created a namespace called team A and in the same sense I have created another namespace called team B. Now at the time of creation of the object what is it I will say? I am creating the object of class student which is available in team A. So, I will say team A dot student. In the same way, I will just say equals to new team A dot student. Now, if you observe, if I say s dot, now it will show me the class display which is available in team A. Now, if I want to create the object of team B, just I will say team B dot student s1 equals to new team b dot student. Now, if I say I can just call s dot display, I can also call s1 dot show. So, the object of class which is present in team a calls the method of that particular class object of class which is present in team B calls the method of that particular class. Now, there is no naming conflicts. We have separate namespaces in which we can have same classes. I can have same classes, but the classes should be in different namespaces. So, a namespace is nothing but a collection of classes. I can have one or more classes in a namespace as well as I can have namespaces inside the namespace. Now, I will just try to comment out this and say I am working with team B. 
So I have created a class called as student and I have created another class called as teacher. So in this I have public void method called as salary or I'll just name it as get salary. Inside this I can have one more namespace. Yeah. As I told you namespace is nothing but collection of classes as well as namespaces. Say I have one more namespace and I'll name this namespace as in team B say this is group A. And in this I have a class say class test. Now in this I have a method called as public void and I am trying to display a message in this. This is a go method of class test which is in group A namespace of team B namespace just I am trying to display a message in there. Uh, so, this is a go method which is in class test of group A namespace which is in turn in team B namespace. Now, I want to create the object of this class. How do I create? So, I want to create the object of student. I am saying team B dot student. If I want to create the object of test, then again I need to come from here team B dot group A dot test. Just I will comment out this. team b dot group a dot test t equals to new team b dot group a dot test. Now, I will simply call that method t dot go. Now, I will say console dot read line press a 5 which should display me this message. So, it is displaying the message saying that this is a go method of class test which is in group A namespace of team B namespace. Now, if you observe whenever I want to create the object of class which are in this group A namespace, I need to follow this complete path team B dot group A dot test this fine I can uh, go in this way, but I have uh, you know many 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 objects of that particular class. So, I need to mm, write every time team b dot group a then dot test. So, I need to follow that. So, how can I you know simplify that instead of me writing every time team b dot group a dot test, I can simply say that using team b dot group a. Now, if I say using team b dot group a, what is that I can do? Instead of me writing this complete team b dot group a, I can simply write test. I have the access to test. Test t equals to new test. That is it. It is working fine. So, if you observe, we have been writing using system since our you know first program. Why? Why? Because system is a namespace which contains the class console. If I have an access to this console because I am writing using system. If I do not write, if I just remove this system, now you observe that it says that the name console does not exist in the current context. It will throw an exception or throw an error saying that the name console does not exist in the current context. Now, how can I solve this problem? I can simply say that system dot console dot read line. I can say system dot console dot read line. But if you observe, we have been writing simply console dot read line. Why? Because we were writing using system. 
and our every program is in a namespace by default whatever the project we create it takes that name as the name of the namespace so all together a namespace is nothing but collection of classes and namespaces collection of classes and namespaces and it is used to avoid naming conflicts for the classes and to have good understanding of codes developed by teams of particular organization so this is all about your namespaces thank you